Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am still a targeted individual. It is Sunday, uh, approximately 9 something p.m. and I'm running my generator uh, on the outside of the building. Um, I have built a thingamabob or rigamaroller upper upper made with some big metal bars that I found in the street and some springs and the, the whole 60 65 pound assembly is hanging from uh, two spring pivot bouncer jammies and uh, a string that sounds like a low bass guitar and um, and it's suspended over some rubber soft doohickey dinky but neoprene, but it actually is floating. It's literally bouncy, 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 like a little horsey thing. And um, I managed to uh, put a piece of something plastic, you know, around and over, and not fully, just enough to reduce or muffle. Um, and it's not totally quiet, but it's quieter. If you go in the front room, you can't hear it at all. But I imagine the people downstairs and outside here are a little louder than, than that, but I've been setting and running the stopwatch, trying to only run it, you know, long enough to charge the battery, the 12 volt car battery, you know, to give us some charging phone, charging power, and, and you know, leave the lights on for an hour or two. Um, I haven't been running it all day and all night or anything, so it's basically just been a couple hours. And, uh, you know, the thing is I sit here in the, the kitchen of what used to be these other people's kitchen, and the ringing in my ears gets louder, and it's... And I know they've tuned in, like, Google uh, Travel or whatever, they see where you go the most, and, and I can actually hear... The, the feelings and the thoughts coming into my mind of the subliminal hypnosis programming, you know, be very afraid, the, that guy is going to come up the stairs and yell at you, and they're going to call the fire department, and the police are going to blah, 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 we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and blah, blah. and then I realized that, wait a minute, this has been going on for quite some time now in my mind before I even realized that it was a mechanism that was being... Uh, experimentally, you know, worked on, whatever. Now, uh, in response to uh, my story, I got some interesting comments about schizophrenia and mental illness, and I understand that. And, uh, you know, mental illness is a very difficult thing, and for those of us who suffer from any form of uh, anxiety related or panic attacks or post-traumatic stress disorder or anything else that uh, affects our ability to function in the quote-unquote normalized social world it can be very difficult for us and uh, I'm 47 years old and I did not have uh, any kind of schizo anything affective anything disorder until after a group of unknown individuals decided that somehow I was being useful for human experimentation and exposed me to uh, some sort of neurotoxins, hallucinogenics, hypnotics, hypnagogics, uh, you know, sleep inducing, uh, wakefulness inducing, uh, confusion inducing, uh, all kinds of things. I don't know, probably quantum dots, some sort of nano crystalline infusion of radio tuned. Uh, nano-sized material that you could actually drink in a glass of water and not know. Um, and, um, you know, I know that for many who have not experienced this horror um, that we're speaking of, that it can be difficult to grasp the realities of this. And for myself, it was very difficult to grasp, and still is difficult to grasp, the realities of this the hows and the whys and the what-fors and 
You know, I know that there's a certain group of people who would much rather have this just simply be schizophrenia. And if you look at what's happening with the number of people who are recording this thing, and you got to wonder, well, what's going on in the mental health business, and, you know... Obamacare seems to be uh, about there's not enough money and not enough health care and too many people who are broken and sick and what are we going to do? Let's have another war or something. And, and, uh, I know that's very simplistic, but uh, we're living in a false paradigm, folks. And uh, people like me and other targets are being used in ways that are crimes against humanity, in ways that are illegal, immoral, unethical, unconscionable, and, uh, you know, it seems like, you know, the future is rolling forward despite what anybody says, and it really does uh, suck to be one of those people that's getting rolled under by the progress of the holding it all is who really do have too much and really are claiming that there's not enough, uh, even though we all know if we had cars that ran on water and unlimited power from the zero point vacuum or something, you know, crystalline water fusion or something, we could make the world a better place, recycle everything we use, uh, transmogrify, uh, transmute uh, materials, uh, build things on, from the subatomic level up, and the world would be a better place where every human being could have intrinsic value and add to the community in some way despite or regardless of whatever strengths or deficits they have, uh, you know, where everybody has value. but. For us to go from this false paradigm of enslavement to a paradigm of interconnected interoperability, uh, helping one another, humans, you know, uh, there's something going on here, folks, and um, if it's easier for people to just to believe that, that people like I are mentally ill, that's really a sad statement on the level of indoctrination and programming that we have in this country. I can sit and speak to you rationally about just about anything. How does that make me schizo anything? Just because my belief structure has been... I have experienced things that you haven't, uh, whether only in my mind or in reality, and they have caused me to change my perspective on what is possible and not possible, that doesn't necessarily make me mentally ill. Uh, what is a problem is the level of post-traumatic stress and anxiety that they've caused. And I believe that it's a frequency-dependent uh, system, where once you have these quantum dot configurations of microcrystalline, vibratory, radio, nano, carbon, tubule uh, system in you, you could vibrated at almost any frequency and get a particular emotional response. Uh, I know it's far more sophisticated than that, but uh, anyway, I'm speaking now basically to try to reduce the level of angst I feel as I sit here waiting for the quote-unquote inevitable uh, hypno-program event that they're going to, you know, possibly cause or not. It's my frustration and fear based on post-traumatic a repeated traumatic experience. They keep traumatizing me and I have hypervigilant fear of being re-traumatized. Other than that, I think I handle it pretty well. Um, this is a, a strange time in history and I really wish that none of us were involved, but uh, we are into it up to our eyeballs, folks, and uh, for as long as we were breathing, we have a responsibility to one another to our Creator and to the rest of humanity. God bless you all. Thanks for watching.